Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Ham Radio Dude, and if it's your first time here, thanks for checking out the channel. If you've been here before and you're not subscribed, or if it's your first time here, please consider subscribing. If you don't think you have a YouTube account, you probably do. If you have a Google account, you got a YouTube account. Anyway, let's get started, and thanks for the consideration. Today, I want to talk about Chirp, and what I really want to talk about in Chirp is how to change things rapidly, or some, some shortcuts that are going to save you some time. I had a viewer who asked me, hey, how could I change the channels on all the memory so that they're all high power or all low power? And the answer is really simple. On your keyboard, hold down the control button, and while holding down the control button, hit A. And as you'll see, it selected it all. Now, if I want to change something, I can click on this properties button up here. And when I click on properties, a box is going to pop up. Now this box, let me make sure it's all on screen here. This box has everything grayed out, so you can't click anything, but if you actually hit that check button next to power, you can click, let's say I wanted to set everything to low. You can click low and then click okay. Well, that's cool, but what if I don't wanna change it for all the channels or the memory channels? No problem. You could actually hold down the control button and with your mouse, you could left click on the ones you wanna change. And then you can go to properties. And again, put this up here. I could change those ones to high power. So there you go. That's a way to easily and rapidly make some changes. And this actually works for quite a few things too. Let's say I need to change the mode so these ones didn't have tone. I could uh, then go to properties after I selected the few of them by holding down the control and using my mouse. And then let's, like I said, the tone. So maybe this is, uh, we'll just say it's this for now. But anyway, you'll see what it does is it changes all those T squelches that were tones before. Now I made a mistake, so I'm going to go ahead and select them all. And I'm going to hit properties. And again, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change that tone mode to tone. And you know what, if you even wanted to change a large block of frequencies, for example, frequency memory channels 125 through 175, and in this situation we'll do 8 through 12, you could actually click with your mouse the number 8 and then hold down the shift button on your keyboard and hit 12, and it'll select everything in between. And that could be really useful for you as well, especially if you have your memory set by distance. So, you know, maybe I need high power for these ones. And then there it is. So that's a very quick episode, and I understand it's kind of quick, but really it's a really awesome shortcut to be able to have to make some changes on the fly, whether it's changing the mode to you know, wideband or FM, depending on your radio, you know, changing your power settings, changing your tone mode, changing the actual tone. Uh, it just helps things kind of get done a lot quicker. When you have sometimes 200 channels, this is going to help you out a lot. So if it did help you again, thanks a lot. I hope you consider subscribing. I'm W9FFF73.